Charlie Marlowe, thank you for joining me to riff Peg Leg Pedro. Didn't you just do a riff about him? With another Charlie? No, Pete didn't have a peg leg yet in Steamboat Willie, and this is Pedro, completely different. So it doesn't boss around Miguel Mouse? No, 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 this cartoon's about someone called Nicky Gnome. Nicky Mouse? It wasn't quite Technicolor yet. It's a process. Oh god, the flag's gonna eat me! No, I think it's just... Belching. Stunning choreography. Not since Gene Kelly and the Pirate. Come on! I promise I'll get to blowing the man down. I, I just need some time. The chorus shows solidarity with his request for a deadline extension. A mutiny led by Soapy the Germ Fighter. I have a plan to clean up piracy. <laughs> okay, Pedro does not recommend the parrot chest wax. Meanwhile, on Popeye's only fans. <laughs> so much effort into that toe wiggle. This was animated by a very talented pervert. Oh crap, it is Popeye. And he's in a Lazy Boy? In which to stay home and lie around. Ah, Prince Alexander is looking for the land of the Green Isles. Dave, what if I told you about making Sierra references instead of LucasArts references? Calling all pirates, calling all pirates. Let me at him! Let me at him! Parrot power! Abusing a parrot. Are you sure this isn't Steamboat Willie? It can't be. We've heard more than two melodies already. Symphonies. Melodies are the other guy. Ah, it's funny because those don't have those. So they're running two flags? Yeah, they have dual citizenship in the red versus blue world. Oh no, it's the Christmas comes but once a year orphans. The island is shaped like a baby dinosaur shrugging. Come on, baby kids, get dressed. We're going to have company. Wait, the parrot has the racist Mexican accent, not Pedro. This Pedro's made in New York City. What is a decoy? Hey, you stole that from the exterior of the Hyperion. The what? You'll learn if you ever come to Anaheim. Shut up, you brat. Wow, I didn't know they made garden shears that look like chain chomps. I guess they're going for a Bowser's airship vibe. What are the kids supposed to think those shears are? Sharks, but not great white sharks, more like small black sharks. Not hammerheads, more like scissor heads. Not Megalodon, just Mega Dumb. She just goes by Meg now, Dave. To the rescue! I fell for it. Guybrush is gonna climb inside that cannon. Thank you, much better. Hey, it's everyone's least favorite Animaniacs character, the Boring Candle Flame. You apologize to the hip hippos right now and return their title. <sighs> Jerry Mouse has been evicted. He's just looking for Gene Kelly to dance with. Dental plan. Wait, the parrot has a peg leg. Is he Pedro? Is the sidekick the title character? We named the parrot Pedro. Billion Dollar Limited running wild. Better cover up before the hook grabs you. Fine, maybe this is Steamboat Willie. Trogdor! And there's two of them. And the EO was for OK Dragon. Sounds like they've gone all the way from Pirates of the Caribbean to the Tiki Room. Hmm. Can't wait to get that joke someday. Well, now we know how a grasshopper would wear mittens. In case we were wondering. Which, um, we were not. So is Nicky Gnome related to David the Gnome? Not all Davids have brothers named Nick. Ah, the pelican. The deep dish seagull. And the pelican's theme tune, Flight of the Bumble Can. Someone dropped the flaming voodoo cannonball! Look, we could have filled this whole thing with Monkey Island references, but they'd be expecting that. So if Pedro's the parrot, who's the pirate? Dave, everyone knows the pirate is Pedro's monster. 
Why is the visor an essential part of the accounting uniform? You gotta shade your eyes from all that shiny money. What do you know? Trickle-down economics do work. As long as you steal from those richer than you. <laughs> now I can buy me a purple shirt with purple buttons. Careful, if you buy a purple shirt, you may fall victim to the purple death. That's where Indiana Jones learned that trick. Big Nicky Gnome fan, that Indy. The radio dial safe gag. It won't make you laugh, but it will make you wonder if you're having a stroke. Not a lot of, uh, Nicky Gnome in this Nicky Gnome cartoon. Still more than there was Superman in some of those cartoons. Why that dirty crook? Yeah! trust anyone these days. Yeah, that punchline was worth over a full minute of setup. I was just born and already I hate you! Nikki tattooed his own initials on the bird's wings. You just don't understand branding, Dave. And where is this in relation to us? Was the cave labeled by a Batman 66 villain? It must be more than a million dollars. Oh, shucks. There's more than a thousand, I bet you. The invention of mansplaining, 1938. Technicolor process eyes. Ah, yes. When I think of birds to use as a crane, I think pelican. Well, it is a living. <laughs> Is the Chevy now cursed to turn into a car's frame under the moonlight? Cars have frames? Wow, they're just like houses. Synchronized sneaking never really caught on as an Olympic event. Cars are the best anti-piracy measure? Well, you wouldn't download a car. I've been a bad boy. I should have listened to my mother. Or any actual joke writer. Uh-oh, they drove their Chevy to the levee, but it doesn't look dry at all. But gosh, how can we get home? Well, excuse me for having anxiety, you judgmental prick! He really only takes a flag? Susie Eddie Izzard was right. She played Long John Silver once. Who's a pirate? That's on topic. Wait, they're pulling the boats through the water with the car. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang's even weirder than I remember. Okay, but you can't actually do this with a car. This is false advertising. The only car feature being advertised in this car commercial is a trunk. Get a car, it has a box on it. You like boxes? <laughs> right, kids? It's like a treasure chest. Ooh, Pedro's gonna cape fear them. So did Nicky have to special order a vanity plate? Or does he just have access to them as lord of his own private island? Oh, okay, this isn't Steamboat Willie, it's a Donald Duck short. Then the car ran out of gas and sank outside the Bermuda Triangle. Nicky Gnome was rescued, but immediately tried for violation of maritime traffic laws and sentenced to 150 years in the brig. Well, that's Peg Lake Pedro, a parrot or pirate who's enemies with a gnome? This is apparently the fourth Nicky Gnome cartoon. I wonder if it would have made more sense if we watched the other ones. We'll have to find out another time. I would like to thank my dear friend Charlie Marlowe for joining me on this riff. I knew I couldn't riff something this piratey without them. And if you're watching this on the day it drops, today also happens to be their birthday. You should celebrate by checking out their work, such as their fantastic series, Well Abridge Me Princess. As you've probably guessed from the name, it's an abridged series of the Legend of Zelda cartoon. 
but really it's its own weird and wonderful thing. I happen to voice a recurring character on the show, and it's kind of my favorite role I've ever played. And I happen to sing part of the theme song in the newest episode. Check the description for the... Link, no pun intended. Next week, we've got a new D-list. We'll be talking about songs that talk about themselves. But if you don't want to wait for next week, you can watch it on Patreon right now for a $2 pledge. In the meantime, I need to protect any pirates I know from any hidden cars, so until next time, this is Dave, signing off.